In this video, I will show you how to upload files to a Microsoft Azure Blob Storage. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. When we think about data in an application, most of the time we think about database. A database helps store structure and semi-structured data so we can query them easily. When it comes to unstructured data, like images, video, PDF, Storing them in a traditional database is possible, but not practical. Azure Blob Storage is a great way to store those type of data. In this tutorial, I'm going to upload some video from my computer to my Blob Storage. Storage in Azure is set up this way. You have a storage account. A storage account can have many containers. A container can have many blobs. I have a storage account already. I'm going to create a new container. Let's name it video. Let's create a new solution inside Visual Studio. I choose a console application as a template. Before writing any code, let's add some NuGet packages useful to the application. The first one is Microsoft.extensions.configuration. The second one is microsoft.extension.configuration.json. Those two packages are useful for loading applications configuration. We will need to install a third NuGet package, and that is Azure Storage.blabs. Note that there are two versions of the .NET client library. The packages have two different names. V12, which is the latest, has the name azure.storage.blobs. V11, which is the older, has the name microsoft.azure.storage.blob. For this tutorial, I will use the V12. Let's add a new file. It's going to be appsettings.json. The file should be copied to the output directory only if there is a change. Let's fill in the settings file. Connection string will hold the connection to the blob storage. Container is the name of the container in the blob storage. Source folder is the folder on my computer which has videos. The settings file is ready. Let's write some code that is going to retrieve it. I create a new method called getConfig. I'm going to use the configuration builder class, which will help build a configuration object. Configuration builder needs to know the path to the setting file and the name of the file. Now I am able to read the configuration. Let's write code to get the files for upload. I create a new method called getFiles. GetFiles has one parameter, which is the path to the folder with files. I'm going to use the directory info class. It needs the path to the folder. GetFiles is going to retrieve files. And I filter the result to avoid hidden files. So the method is done. Let's call this method to see if I can get the name of the files. In the main method, I call get files. I pass the source folder from configuration as an argument. Let's iterate through the result to display each file's name. I run the application, and as you can see, the name of the four files in my folder appear correctly. Let's write code for uploading the files to the blob storage. I create a new method called upload. This method has three parameters, the files to be uploaded, the connection string to the storage, and the container name. I need an instance of blob container client class, 
This class allows me to manipulate the Azure storage container and its blobs. I write a message to the console to show when upload starts. I need to iterate over all files and send them. I use a try catch block in case an error occurs when uploading a file. To manipulate a particular blob, I need an instance of blob client class. I get that using get blob client method on the blob container client. Once I have a blob client, I call the upload method and pass a stream of the file as an argument. That's all it takes to upload the file. Let's write to the console to confirm the upload. Once the file is uploaded, I can delete it. Before testing the upload method, I need the connection string to the blob storage. In my storage account, I go to the section access key. There is a field that displays the connection string. I copy it. In app setting, I paste the connection string. Let's go back to the main method. I'm going to add a small check. If there's no files to process, the program shouldn't continue. I call upload method and pass the connection string and the container as arguments. Let's run the application. Depending on the size of your files, it can take some time. But it seems like the files are uploaded. Let's check the result in Azure. You can see in my container, in my video container, you can see the four files uploaded from my folder. That's all for today. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.